campus safety this butch how can I help you what it's all gone I know just who to call Crooks and Dunn's office. Crooks speaking. Yeah, Steve, it's happened again. Really? Okay, we're on the case. What's going on, Steve? Well, Sheila, it struck again, and this time it wiped out Carl's Cafe. What a travesty! We have to get over there now. Let's go! They're the toughest crime-fighting duo known to man. Actually, among children under eight, He's Steve Crooks, and she's Sheila Dunn, formerly known as Crooks and Dunn. Have you found something? Great, here comes the A team. I guess I better look halfway professional for their sakes. <laughs> okay, team, we have to get some solid evidence. Steve. Yes. Who is that? And what is he doing in our crime scene? Now that's the bearded hippie. He's an old school detective. Well, I don't think he's going to do us any good with this case. Great, that's all I need. First thing in the morning. Is Sheila Dunn right up in my face? Sir, bearded hippie guy, look, if it were up to me, you wouldn't be here. But since you are, I expect you to conduct yourself professionally. Clean up your mess, now. Yes, ma'am. Clean up my mess, she says. I will clean up my mess. And I'll just sweep these feathers under the couch. Wait, did you say feathers? Sheila, these are real feathers. I'm beginning to suspect foul play. What? 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 Hello, this is Adrian Groff reporting for WCSC News at noon. There has been breaking news in the case at Carl's Cafe. We are preparing to send you live to Canton City Hall. 
for the crime fighting duo of Crooks and Dunn are set to deliver some shocking evidence in this case. It looks like they're about to begin, so here we go. This crime was committed by a bona fide chicken. And you know who you are. Crooks and Dunn will pursue you relentlessly, and you will get fried for your crimes. That should keep him guessing for a while. <laughs>